Welcome back to The Late Show. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is wrapping up her final season as Shoshana Shapiro on Girls. How are you? Hi. Okay. Okay, she's so sweet. She couldn't be nicer. And you're gonna totally love her, except for times you absolutely hate her because she just, like, never turns off. She's a lot. She's just <laughs> Hello! Hi! Please welcome back to the show, Zasha Mamet. <laughs> That's a beautiful springtime outfit. I felt outfit. like I was in The Lion King or something. That was like a real. Yeah, that's that your theme awesome. song. That was my. Yeah. Oh, the what an entrance. Oh! Simba's back there. Hi, yeah. Simba. I love that outfit. Thank you. It's got sort of like a cape on it the back does. or something. It has a total cape, not sort of a cape. It, it's like a full on cape. You look like a superhero whose power is making spring come. Yes. <laughs> yeah, wow. I'm a super tulip. Well, nice to see That's you. haven't been here in about a year. I've, it was actually about exactly a year that okay. I haven't been here. Welcome back. Happy Thank to have you, you here. So How much. have you been? I've been really Anything good. Big? And I, um, well, I, I got married. Oh, congratulations. Um, you know, minor. Were you engaged? Were minor you engaged thing. The last time? I was secretly engaged. Yes. Secretly engaged? Well, I was, in, I was engaged. My fiance knew, so it wasn't a secret to him. <laughs> we, Never know. We knew. Um, but we just, we wanted to keep, we sort of just wanted it to be, like, our thing. Did for, your families know? Our families knew, yes. You didn't know, but I happened to, I remember this when, um, when they asked me to come back on, that right after I did the show last year, mm -hmm. I went directly from our taping to the place I got my wedding dress, and I bought my wedding dress that night. Really? From here you went to the wedding yes. dress? Wow. It couldn't possibly be better than that. Um, no, it, um, this is my wedding dress. <laughs> At your wedding, do you have like anything special? People make um, obviously the wedding is a very special day, but these days people do kind of like fun things at the wedding. Like, did you have like a a luge for the guests or a jump castle or anything like that? People make it, it's like yeah, yeah, fun. Yeah. It's more fun um, than weddings. The luge kids. was booked that day, oh, yeah. So we didn't get that, but um, but I had my friend who is an aura photographer come and what is an aura um, photographer? she takes photos of your auras i got that much yes um <laughs> but what now, is that now and... i sound like a crazy hippie um she they're beautiful it's it's like a photo of you except your aura is in the photograph and her company is called radiant human and um she normally does she does like real cool fashion parties and stuff and i begged her to come to my nerdy wedding and um, she oh. said yes. But how does it work though? Okay, how does a crazy. camera capture my? Are you talking about like a spiritual aura? So like... there are there are like a hundred of these in the world, and she was brought up on a commune. So her her hippie grandparents taught her about this. But it it mm -hmm. looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. There are these two big blue things that you put your hands on, and they're connected to the camera. And your aura is probably uh, you seem like an orange maybe. Um, is that a, wait, I don't know if that's a good one. I'm, an in, that... I'm like an indigo. No, they're all, they're no bad. You can't they're be no bad. They're no bad auras? No bad auras. All good. All wonderful. What does orange mean? I actually don't remember. But it's real pretty. But you looked at me and you went, you seem like an orange. I don't know. You just strike me as an orange. Um, last time we were here, we were made up some rumors about each other. Yes, we We thought it would be fun if we could spread some rumors about each other. Yeah. And I spread the rumor that you play badminton with Beck, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that you spread that I speak a little Japanese. I think it was fluent Japanese. Arigato. And... <laughs> And so, but there's a real rumor I heard about you, and I'm wondering if you could, did, you, you are like a... Well, a real rumor wouldn't be a rumor, it would be a fact. That's interesting. Right? That's no, deep. No, no, that no that's a, deep. No, that's deep. No, that's deep. not a diss. I'm not, I'm like, at, right, no, no, right? No, no, yeah. Well, it could be a rumor that turns out to be fact. It could, yes, yeah. it could. Very true. It, hey, you know what I heard? Yeah, what? I heard uh, that Zasha Mamet had a raccoon issue. Fact. So what do you I, do? You have a pet raccoon? I do not have a pet raccoon, and I, part of me wishes that I did until this happened. And that they are vi they are very cruel creatures. And they're rabies vectors. The, true, very true. Another fact. So um, <laughs> we used to live in Brooklyn, my husband and I, and um, we bought a townhouse that was supposed to be empty, but it had tenants in it. And, was it um, turned into raccoon? 
The tenant was, well, the tenant was not a raccoon until it was a raccoon. Um, I turned him into a raccoon because I'm a magical tulip superhero. Um, so we went up to talk to our third floor tenants one night about, you know, just working out like when they would vacate. We were trying to be kind about it. And um, we discovered a 15 pound raccoon in their apartment. That's who, a pretty big raccoon. Who had been living amongst, they were comic book collectors and they had these like piles of comic books and the raccoon had just been living in these. But it was a pretty crazy night and basically long story short, a SWAT team showed up eventually. A SWAT team? A full on SWAT team showed up and there were these dudes, like, like Dwayne Johnson sized dudes. These guys who like could look at you and kill you, they're so big. <laughs> And he, this one dude, he shows up and he like, he sort of peeks in to the door and he sees the raccoon and he's like, oh no, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> and these huge guys that you would think are like running around the city, you know, taking down tulip superheroes like me. But they don't want to get rabies. And they're terrified of this raccoon. So how'd you get rid of it? They ended up, you know, tranquil, tranking gun it. It was very, uh, tranquilizing it, yeah, sure, right? Sure, tranquilizing it, yeah. Um, but they had the like thing the with the lasso on the end, and the, there was, by the end of the night, there were like 10 dudes who were like, okay, so what are we gonna do this, okay, so we're gonna go in, and he said, I'm not going in, you go in. Like, no way, man, I got kids. <laughs> like, terrified of this raccoon. Well, this is the last season uh, of Girls. Congratulations yeah. on Shoshana all these years. Thank it's, you. People are gonna miss it. Yes. Two more, two more episodes. Two more episodes. We'll be watching. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. Thank Lovely you. to see you again. You. Girls airs Sundays on HBO, and you can see Zasha's off-Broadway play, The Whirly Gig, this spring. Zasha Mammon, everybody.